We have to go in and make sure everything cleared. I think we have a winner. Yeah, so we're... Do you guys want to play a guessing game? At some point, are we going to go back into the adoption world? So my doctor messaged me and said that, and we went in faith and started buying baby stuff. Good morning, you guys. We are back in the parking lot of a very familiar place. The Too familiar. The clinic. We have to go in and make sure everything cleared, and that's... That's, that's that. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel okay. Um, I do. We've I, had a few days off of vlogging. We've had a few days off of kind of just processing and, yeah. and just having the alone time of getting together and I feel, we feel rested. Yeah. Do you feel rested? Yeah, I, I would say going off all those meds, I can't even express how much energy I have. I feel back to myself. I feel happier again. I don't feel tired anymore. I like, don't need to sit down I'm just like running all day and I love it so that part I'm really enjoying but but there's a lot of people that do IVF and that it's not as difficult as the journey that we've been on and exactly. I think we have a very rare case and I think mm -hmm. we have a very specific case and I think that's what we need to remember and that's what you guys need to know is that infertility is like a case-by-case -case basis well, and I think we're in the middle of the ground I think we're in the middle of the road like some people have a much longer more difficult journey than we do um, and then some people, they do IVF and they get pregnant their first time and then they do it again and they get pregnant again and yeah. that's just kind of how it is and that's amazing. And I think that was the hope for us. We were yeah. like, oh my gosh, like IUIs didn't work and regular didn't work and all that stuff. We just thought, yeah, for sure it was gonna just work thought for us, It was just but... gonna work and it hasn't. But you know what? I love her and I'm so grateful for her and this journey has challenged us and this journey has left us better. Mm -hmm. I'd say, I'd say so. We've learned a lot, we've grown a lot but we gotta go inside now. All right, hey friends. So, Phil and Alex have gone to the doctor, so we get to hang out with Kinsley and Callie this morning. And Kinsley and Callie are starting the morning off by playing some piano. They are gonna be uh, musical geniuses by the time this morning's done. This is piano lesson number one, so let's see where we're gonna start. We can choose between A Tale of Two Cities, probably not. The Last Five Years, uh, probably not. Beauty and the Beast, I think we have a winner. Piano lessons didn't quite go uh, as well, but that's okay. And now we made juice. It's not as good as Phil and Alex's juice. I put way too much ginger in and it's very spicy. So the girls can't have any. <laughs> but the girls luckily have their own juice. Yeah. We're gonna meet my dad. Yes, we're gonna meet her dad too. So the uterus is totally clean, see that? It's like totally clean. Oh, okay. I was nervous because I'm still cramping. No, it's like totally good. There's a little bit of blood there, but this is thin, thin. Sure. You know, so we're, we're good from that standpoint, okay? Like, how are you hanging in there? We're gonna get away. We're gonna focus on other people this summer. We are at the park now. We are doing some swing action. And, uh, Philip and Alex will be here momentarily. It's a new day, it's a happy day. We're gonna play, hooray. All right, you guys, we just got the girls from Jason and Alicia and they're sleeping in the car with daddy. So I am going into the consignment shop, but do you guys wanna play a guessing game? So I have these two bags full of clothes. These are all things that Callie grew out of and I'm not in love with them so much that I wanna keep them for future babies. So let's take a guess. They will give me a cash price of how much they would give me for cash um, or store credit. And I usually take store credit because my kids are still growing and I still need to buy them clothes. Okay, they took way less items than I thought. I thought a lot of our clothes were in really good condition, but I'm a little bummed. They changed owners and the store looks different and, but hopefully it will all be the same. But I was a little bit in a little culture shock when I first went in there. But these are the bags that I left over. So this one's like almost full and then, you know, they took a little, a few things. Okay, who guessed? So they offered me $17 and change of cash or $22 and change of store credit. I'm happy with that. I took some store credit and then I got Kinsley a couple cute little things. She got this little shirt for summer. It was on the clearance rack. So this was $2 from Old Navy. And I think I was eyeing this actually last year to buy for her, like full price. <laughs> and then I got this cute little um, like denim dress with a cute little zipper up the back and it's Gap. I spent a little bit more. I spent $7.99 on it. 
but it's gap and it's like really like good condition so I know it'll hold up through Kinsley and through Callie. Okay you guys, do you like how I haven't put on makeup in days? I kind of like it. Actually, I mostly like running out of the house, but um, sometimes I would like to have a little bit of something on my face and my eyes. I am just getting the chiropractor. I haven't been in almost three months. I've just been um, having Philip kind of pull on my neck, which isn't good. So I'm trying to go like get adjusted again and be um, in a good spot. So just a recap of this morning's ultrasound. She said I looked all clear. That was what the ultrasound was for to make sure there was nothing left over from the miscarriage. They just need to make sure that you got everything out. Um, and I did. They're gonna check my HCG level just to make sure that I um, dropped fast enough and I'm not like lingering. I think that also helps you know if you got everything out, I, I believe. Anyways, they're just checking my hormones. They did the ultrasound, so it wasn't until I left that I felt, I'm just reminded that we are always gonna be a couple that struggles with infertility it even if when you're done having kids like if you went through that season of infertility like that's still part of you that's still a season you went through and I'm just sad that I'm still in this question mark I'm still in the wait it's hard because I have friends that are that are done waiting and they are pregnant now and it's just a reminder of where we're at I'm not that sad and I'm very thankful that I'm that I've been doing okay but I'm just kind of disappointed that this is like the season we're in right now. I liked having my girls close together in age. It was so fun. And we dream of having a bigger family. And would I like to experience pregnancy? Yes, that would be a fun thing to experience in life. Um, is it the end all be all for me personally? No, um, I just am obsessed with adoption. I love my girls. I love just growing our family. Um, but adoption definitely has a lot of um, emotional ro roller coasters as well. And so infertility and adoption are both difficult journeys, are difficult roads. And you just have to kind of go with your heart and feel, you know, what is my heart ready for right now? Um, what season of life am I going to be in right now? And we're comfortable being in the infertility journey. At some point, are we going to go back into the adoption world? Absolutely. There's not even a question in my mind. We will definitely be adopting again. Um, how soon? I don't know. But right now I'm just bummed that it's been almost a year since we did our first transfer. We did our first transfer last summer and we would have a baby right now if that first transfer worked, which is crazy. So we're just still in the wait period and that's okay. But I want to tell you for those of you who are in the wait period and you're like, ugh, like... This is a bummer. Yeah, it is. It is a bummer. But my biggest encouragement is trying to focus on like the good happy things going on in life. Even if it's simple as like, I came up with a really good meal for dinner tonight. You know, just those little things really help. And that's what I'm gonna be focusing on this summer. And I'm just excited for the little things. I'm excited for the sunshine. I'm excited to be outside and play and hike. And I'm just excited for that. It doesn't change the bummer side of not being pregnant and this not working, but life is still good. There's still positive things, like having a bee on my windshield. He is like right there. Hi, bee. <sighs> yes, I am in a wet seat. <laughs> with monkey feet. I bought this for Philip, but it was a touch too small and he doesn't like to be warm and I'm always cold, so now it's mine. So my doctor messaged me and said that my HCG level dropped down to five. So she said, I am all clear. It was a good day. It was definitely like a bookend to the last three months. Philip and I were just talking tonight and we're just bummed because We'd love to have a bigger family. Um, we just don't know when and if that will happen. We also were talking about, we were totally happy with having our two girls, but I think in the long run, we definitely desire to have a bigger family. So we'll just have to wait and see how that happens. Well, we're gonna try to go to bed now, kind of early, because tomorrow we're gonna wake up nice and early and go to the garage sale of 
entire city or town in our area, the entire area um, puts on a garage sale. So every house that wants to put it on a garage sale, they do it that day. And it is crazy. We went three years ago, we were entering the adoption world and we went in faith and started buying baby stuff even before we knew about Kinsley. Being excited that yes, we haven't gotten pregnant. Yes, we are never, like it felt like we were never gonna have kids to all of a sudden, oh my gosh, like we're starting the adoption process. Like we're gonna have a baby. Like we thought it was gonna be like a year, <laughs> not just a few weeks, but we did that garage sale in faith and this is the same garage sale. We got all of our decorations for our wedding. There's something about getting a deal that makes me like an item even better. <laughs> So tomorrow we are going to the garage sale and we're very excited to see all the fun things that we're gonna get. Well, I hope you guys had a good day and like always, you guys, go let your love multiply. Good night.